Oh, uh, hey man. Welcome back to the Super Divorce YouTube channel. Nicholas Villar is here, aka Super Divorce. And welcome back to another edition, the 23rd edition of Sega Mania Mania. Sega Mania Mania is a live streaming internet program in which we are working our ways through every single review from the pages of Sega Mania Magazine. The late, great Sega Mania Magazine, magazine that ran for seven issues from 2021 through 2022, was uh, doing just fine, doing real well, looking good had a bright future ahead of it, had quickly become one of my favorite magazines of all time in very short order, and then out of nowhere, the proprietor of Sega Mania Magazine said, that's it guys, that's all you get. No more Sega Mania Magazine for anyone. And they closed the doors and said, go away. And even though they did that and didn't offer any explanation as to why, I don't hold it against them. I celebrate to this day my love for the magazine. And I said, we're not going to end it there. We are going to continue the tradition of Sega Mania magazine over on my YouTube channel. I'm going to go through every single review they ever did. I'm going to review the review and I'm going to play the game that they reviewed in sequential order, in review order, starting at review number one and issue one, working our way all the way through all seven issues. And that's where we find ourselves tonight uh, at uh, issue number two. And this will be our 23rd review. So, hello, C. Carrot Carrotson. Hello, Jess. My wife's here in the chat. Carrot's here in the chat. Though I thought Carrot was going to have a new name by now. That's what I thought. Triple C. Um, Carrot said, oh, this game. Yep, this game. This game is Dick Tracy on the Sega Mega Drive. And what I like to do before reading the review from the pages of Sega Mania Magazine, before sharing that with you, I like to share some fun facts. So let me get my my notebook. I've taken some notes, prepared some notes on this game that I thought you might like to hear about. Yeah, you have my craziness to deal with. But, you know, as has been noted, I usually get a softer, tamer side of Super Divorce when you're here on Sega Mania Mania, as opposed to some of the antics and hijinks that we get up to on the Lego building streams on the weekends. Anyway, here you go. Here are some notes on this game. Dick Tracy from 1991. That's when this game came out. However, the original OG Dick Tracy was created way back in 1931 by Chester Gould in a comic strip that ran in the Detroit Mirror newspaper. That's where it started. And uh, way back then, he wasn't Dick Tracy, he was called Plain Clothes Tracy. Plain clothes. Doesn't really roll off the tongue. Plain clothes doesn't roll off the tongue the way Dick does. Dick really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Dick Tracy was based on the Prohibition agent Elliot Ness. Did you know that? Real life Prohibition agent. One of those guys who went after the people who were drinking when they weren't supposed to be drinking. You know? Kind of silly shit, in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of the Prohibition. I don't like that. You would have found me at the speakeasy. That's what I would have been up to. 
Carrot said, I expect this stream to be full of dick puns. Well, uh, you know, if it's not full of puns, it will certainly be full of dick. Because playing Dick Tracy game. So this uh, was the first game from Sega Technical Institute. You ever hear of this? You thought it was going to do something, and I didn't do it. Sega Technical Institute. When they started it up for this game, it only had two employees. One was Yutaka Sugano, who uh, previously had worked on the game Shinobi. And then also a guy named Mark Cerny. This guy joined Atari at the age of 17. Then uh, created the classic arcade game Marble Madness. I believe he joined Sega in 1984 or 85. And uh, after working on this Dick Tracy game, went on to do a few notable titles in the industry after that. Uh, games such as, well, uh, when I say he went on to work on them, he worked as a producer or executive producer on titles such as eh, Sonic 2, all of the Crash Bandicoot games, all of the Spyro games, Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, the entire series, the original Uncharted for the PlayStation 3, God of War 3, Resistance 1 and 2, Last Guardian, Spider-Man, as well as the Miles Morales expansion they did, and another little game called Death Stranding. So, um, despite Mark's illustrious career following this game, Dick Tracy did not sell very well. This game didn't do very well. And Sega, they kind of blamed it on the timing. It came out eight months after the theatrical release, and I think two months after it had been released on video, which led them to revamp their policy when working with uh, movie studios in the future. They wanted like a full year to prepare so that they could have the game come out kind of in conjunction with the film. So, uh, you know, um, I would not have guessed that a fellow who worked on all of those games I just mentioned, who Carrot uh, said he's never heard of any of them. Uh, they're, they're, they're games some people might have heard of. Not everyone. But I uh, wouldn't have guessed that, that you had that kind of pedigree wrapped up in the Dick Tracy game. Now, I've never played this one before. I recall renting the Dick Tracy game for the NES. Uh, I don't know that I've ever played this one. So, this is going to be a new experience for me tonight. But before I play it, I head on over to the pages of Sega Mania Magazine, getting out my floppy copy. Flipping open to page number 31. And uh, I'm going to read the review to you. Now, you can follow along on your television set right here. I put the, uh, the review up. A graphic of the review is now displayed on your television set. And you can follow along there, or you can check the link in the description below and head on over to the Sega Mania Magazine online archive. And you can just flip open to page 31, digitally flip to page 31, and check out the Dick Tracy review. Now, let me warn you, if you do that, you are also going to see the game that we're going to review on the next episode. And I don't like to give spoilers. You're more than welcome to go and check out spoilers if you want to. Um, but I try to warn people. You know, usually I say, don't flip to the next page unless you want to see what we're going to review next time. This time, however, if you flip to the page that Dick Tracy is on, you're also going to see next episode's game displayed right below it because they have cut the page in half and uh, stacked the reviews. So just be warned. Now then, 
Let's see what... Let's see what uh, Sam Forrester at Sega Mania Magazine had to say about Dick Tracy on the Sega Mega Drive. Sam says, Midnight, a gang of no good Nicks. Nicks? That's me. A gang of no good me's. Now, I've heard Nicks used uh, when talking about stealing. I know that that's something. This is a UK-based magazine, by the by. So some of the terminology they use is not... Um, it's not quite what I hear on a regular basis here in the good old U.S. of A. Now, I've heard people say that they nicked something from the corner store. Of course, here in the States, it's not uncommon to say you might have nicked yourself with the potato peeler when you were peeling a batch of potatoes. But I've never heard of ne'er-do-wells referred to as nicks. That's something new. Carrot said, no good Nick. Now that's probably going to become a new thing around here too. As well as pooper divorce. And other derogatory terms that uh, this menace C. Carrot Carrotson has chosen to call me in, in the chat. Uh, he comes in here often and harasses me and tries to disrupt the streams. But I, I allow it to go on because... You know, I think that people should be free to express themselves, so. Hello, Punkin. Punkin's in the chat. Mr. Jorfus has joined the chat. Punkin said, I uh, can't type because I'm about to leave work, but I'll be watching. All right, well, don't watch too closely. I would like you to watch the road first and foremost. Maybe you can glance over if you get stopped at a stoplight for a second, but just mostly listen. I beg of you. Anyway, back to the review here. Midnight. A gang of no good Nicks are loading a shipment of nitroglycerin into a train cart under the cover of darkness. Then, from the shadows, a flash of yellow followed by a hail of bullets from a Tommy gun. Everything goes quiet, save for the last few shell casings hitting the floor. The man in the yellow coat emerges. He's Dick Tracy. And he's here to clean up the city, one dead body at a time. Having first come out as a comic strip in the 1930s, Tracy grew so popular that he ended up with his own television show, radio drama, merchandise, and even a cartoon. And it wouldn't be too long before he was at our control as a video game character. While he was still around in popular culture, our hard-hitting, law-enforcing friend isn't the cultural phenomenon he once was. His game on the Mega Drive came out off the back of the 1990 feature film, a box office success starring Warren Beatty, Al Pacino, Dustin Hoffman, and Madonna. But it was the last of its kind. Tracy hasn't been seen on the big screen since. So, taking him for a spin in the digital world feels like opening a time capsule. Our titular hero is tasked with chasing down Big Boy, the boss of a criminal gang plaguing the city. Our job is to follow the leads to track him down, while leaving hundreds of dead henchmen in our wake. One clue leads to another, and Tracy finds himself blasting his way through the mob hierarchy as he gets closer to his elusive prize. The gameplay in Dick Tracy is gloriously frenetic. Enemies will come at you from both sides, as they would with any side-scrolling shooter, but you'll also need to use, utilize a Tommy gun for the henchmen who appear in the background. It requires a lot of concentration at first, especially if you want to do it without breaking any shop windows. There are a variety of levels. The city streets, a train yard, a warehouse, sewers, and a bar but nothing much changes fundamentally save for the amount of difficulty of your enemies. They'll start packing machine guns and Molotov cocktails before you know it, unlike the very early baddies who will just try to take a swing at you as you gun them down. Even the bosses are similar, running away in the background and throwing things at you as you try and mow them down. There are some cool bits in between, however. The car chases are really fun, and a shooting gallery minigame will help you rack up bonus points 
and some extra credits. But once you've got the knack of the controls, you shouldn't find yourself having too much trouble clearing the levels. It's a little one-dimensional, a bit like Tracy himself, it has to be said. Maybe he's just not exciting enough to enjoy a wider appeal in the modern day. Maybe. So we'll see. We'll see uh, what we have to say about this game and how it play after I fire it up here and put it on my display. Uh, how am I doing, says Mr. Jorvis. I'm doing quite well. How are you? How is everyone doing in the chat tonight? You guys doing all right? Hope you're doing all right. Ghoulie is here. Just got back from a b-ball game. Ghoulie's team lost, but oh well, he says. Well, get him next time, champ. You know? That's the important question, though, is what Mr. Jorvis says. How are, how are things with the lady going, Ghoulie? How are things progressing there? Uh, all right, let's uh, let's fire this up, and here we go. Dick Tracy, 1991. Let me check out the options real quick. I guess we'll start on normal credits. Why don't we bump those credits up to five? Why not? You know, I'm not trying to be too sexy on that one. I've never played this before. I like to give myself a fair shot. Now, I like to play the games for an hour, 60 minutes, thereabouts, to give myself a nice, you know, a, a nice chance to uh, form my own opinion. And I think an hour of playtime is a good enough time to do that when you're reviewing a review. Tracy declares war on Big Boy. Extra, extra. A dynamite case begins. Well, that's nice to hear, Ghoulie. Ghoulie says that things are looking very promising. Lots of chemistry with his lady friend. I wish you the very best. I hope things continue going swimmingly. You just gotta make sure that you, uh, you know, uh, uh, continue, um, continue doing a good job, you know, uh, maybe, maybe try to go out and have the, uh, the performance of a lifetime the next time you're playing basketball. I've heard that women like, you know, they like to see their, their boo out on the court draining threes, you know, it's very impressive to women when they see the man that they're interested in put on a fantastic uh, display of sportsmanship and skill. And see Carrot Carrotson is suggesting that Ghoulie is a bit too young to get married because Ghoulie said he, he hopes that she's the one. But guess what? Check this out, Carrot. You know, I will admit, Ghoulie, I know, you're a young guy. You're in high school. That's fine, but check this. Jess and I met each other when we were 17 years old. 17, just 17. So, you never know. You never know. All right, let's let's uh, let's jump in. Big boys, uh, men seen down at the train yard. I'm on my way, says Warren Beatty. Stage one, scene A, Tracy gets a lead. You don't hear about Dick Tracy much these days. There he is. Oh, okay, so there's our... There's our Tommy gun. That fires back in the background there. B is jump. And then A fires our, our pistol there. And it doesn't seem like we've got any limit on our uh, ammo, so that's nice. I like that these guys didn't even do anything. I just, I saw them and I knew they were bad. Now that guy has a gun. He was walking at me with a gun. You can't do that with a police officer. Oh.
Yeah, those guys are just like businessmen walking down the street. I don't like the way you look. The angle is really strange when you're shooting in the background, you know? That's that's an odd one. That's oddish there. They just have to keep kind of spraying. Ah, man. That's, see, that's annoying as shit. Those guys in the background are going to be the the shit's enemy, I think. I don't like that at all. Because if you if you walk past them, like that right there, look they I don't like that. I don't like that mechanic. That's poor shit. They don't have to be like lined up with you. It's in a it's in a diagonal, see? You shoot backwards in a diagonal angle. And so those guys, you gotta see that's crap. See what what the fuck are you supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with that right there? They hop over. If they are to the left of my spray, then I have to move back this way and they start shooting me and I have no way to uh, defend myself or anything. See, that that's... Very clunky. Very, very clunky. Kind of walking. See, that doesn't even... All right. Uh, you're right. This game. Well, I've, I. Let me hold off. I can't give my final review yet. I haven't been playing quite long enough to. Uh, but see, that's that's just that's stupid. While they're shooting at me, I have to like retreat to find a, a good spot where I can actually hit them from, you know? Because I can't move my my aim. It's not like I can move my aim with the D-pad or anything. I, I have to move my aim by moving my entire character across the screen and finding a good spot to shoot from. Which is kind of crap. See, like this right here. And then they can hit you while you're trying to retreat and get to a good spot. And that's just stupid. See right there. They can, and they run so fast. Jesus. Like, what the fuck are you supposed to do? All right. Okay. Um, I should have just let that run down. Because in a scenario like this, I have no problem turning it on easy. Because I can just tell they've already got an unfair advantage just by the way the, the game is structured. Yeah. Uh, Ghouli has presented a new, a new rule. He said, I think that the new rule for Sega Mania Mania should be that if I can't beat the first level in 30 minutes, he has to play the next game. Hmm. Uh, I don't... I don't mind that rule. I really don't. However, I would have to make sure... Like, I'd have to end the stream and go live again. And I'd have to have... I'd always have to go live with the next game uh, ready to go. So that's going to require a little more preparation. But I, I don't hate that rule. I think that that's a good idea. And I'd only be able to do like up to two a night probably. You know. But that's... That's not bad. Look at that shit. It's, it's not kosher. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now these guys are going to... 
<laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, at least they gave me a checkpoint. Man. I'm doing a good job not hitting windows or anything. But, look, I can't... How do I get that guy? Oh, wait, hold on. If I hold it down... Oh! Well, I didn't even realize that. Okay. I can hold... If I hold the C button, then I can start maneuvering. That helps. I thought that I just had to jump and, uh... All right. Good. Well, you know, that's, that's the thing about playing games from the old days. You just had to kind of figure it out. I didn't have an instruction manual here, so... I had no way of knowing that. The only thing that gave me a suspicion was that dude way up top. It's like, how the fuck am I supposed to... So let's... There. That's better, but I, you know... Tough to avoid hitting the window. Which I guess is, is the least of my concern. I'm just trying to make it through the damn shit here. Alright, that's much better. Oh, oh I th okay, well your aim with the Tommy gun cannot swing back around in front of you. It always stays in the back. What's up, Fire Gamer? How's it going? Yep. Making a little bit of progress now. No destructible boxes or anything. That's a little bit of a bummer. I was hoping I could, you know, bust some of these open, get some health, get some shit. Alright, stage 1A cleared. So we've made it through the first level. That's good. We can continue playing this game. Maybe that's a positive, maybe it's a negative. We'll find out. I'm out of bullets, says Dick Tracy. Um, Fire Gamer saying that the only thing he likes about school is art. I think a lot of people, I felt that way. Though, I mean, I liked doing art in school, but my art teacher was a real... Uh, how do I put this? Um, she was a cunt. She was. She was. There was this one day when I came in, and uh, the previous class had been using plaster of Paris. If you know what that is. It gets all dusty all over everything. The table gets all dusty. You get dust on the floor. And they didn't clean it up very well. And whoever had been sitting in my seat in the class prior had gotten plaster of Paris dust all over the damn seat, all over my chair. Didn't bother to wipe it down even a little bit. So uh, I put my book bag down and she starts, starts yakking at me. She's like, Nick, sit down. I was like, there's... There's plaster of Paris dust all over my seat. I'm just going to get a, a paper towel and wipe it off. She said, sit down! It's like, I'm not sitting in that. It's, it's coated in dust. I'm not going to get that all over my clothes. And she starts screaming over top of me as I'm trying to explain. I said, sit down! I don't care! So I was like, no. And I, I walked across the class and I got some paper towels and moistened them and go over. I start wiping my chair off. And she's like, I said, sit down right now. And she wouldn't stop. She's going off on me. And eventually, she told me to leave. She said, that's it. Go to the principal's office. I'm not exaggerating. This is how it went. This is how the exchange went. And uh, so I just ignored that too. And I continued wiping my chair down. I got it nice and clean. And then I sat down. And uh, she just continued teaching the class. It was like a weird exchange with like a, a an NPC in a game. Like when I sat down, like that 
that part of the the game's dialogue just that that just ended and she didn't say anything else about it but that was the kind of uh, relationship that I had with her that was um that was uh quite something it was very strange I really understand I, I don't know if she had a tough time with the students in the class before but I mean she she could clearly see my chair was covered in plaster of Paris dust I'm not gonna sit in that I'm not gonna get my clothes all dusty you know I don't know if that stuff stains anyway uh, that is rude and mean very oh I must have missed our joke of the night I didn't see that hold on let me see let me see if I can find Mr. Jorfus's joke of the night um, it appears that your joke has been blocked by YouTube Mr. Jorfus because there are no there are no jokes from you in the chat I don't see any you, you might have to uh, try again with a a kinder gentler joke that does not get blocked by our YouTube overlords here. Okay. Um, stage one, scene B, Steve's train yard. Let's give it a shot, please. All right, Ghoulie. We'll be here. And okay, so no ammo this time. I can only punch. That's all I can do. Here's Mr. Jorpus's joke of the night. Ready? Who is the cousin of Bruce Lee? The answer, Brocco Lee. That's been Mr. Jorfus's joke of the night. Thank you for that, Mr. Jorfus. Right, so he's gonna, he walks over and he stands there. Get down. Oh! Just wait for him to shoot three times and then oh what is this guy doing a molotov cocktail what the shit all right throw it at me and then okay if you walk straight towards him his cocktail kind of arcs then you can just punch these guys in the dick as they walk up to you Only got one sliver of health left. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, let's let's keep trying again. Mm. Uh Fire Gamer said that a student not in his class got sent to the office for throwing away paper. His friend told him if he would throw it away, and he said, sure. And the sub said to sit down, but he threw it away anyway. And then got sent to the office for disobeying the order. I hate shit like that. It's so stupid. All right. Let's go. Oh. It's dick punching dicks. And the best way to deal with that guy, like I said, is just to walk straight towards him. Let these guys walk right towards you. Uh-huh. There you go. Bip. Bip. Hey, he threw a fucking cocktail at my head. And then he just thinks he's going to walk away. No, you're not going to do that shit to me. I'm not doing that. Oop. Yep. Okay, I guess we got to maybe jump up there now. Is that what's going on? No, maybe. Maybe we do that one. 
Do I have a super jump? Carrot says dick is a dick for hitting that dick's dick. I can't argue with that. Why, huh, says if this was Fist of the North Star, their dicks would explode. I've never watched or read any Fist of the North Star. Never have. It looks cool. Okay, can I get up here, though? Can I do that somehow? What, what I... I can't... I can't get my dick up enough to uh, continue forward here. I just need to... I could just get my dick up. Um. Hmm. Can I climb up this ladder, maybe? Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. That's all I had to do. Oh! Hey, come back here. There we go. Alright. Go oh, look at that platforming. <laughs> well, for a second. Uh, not the nimblest. Not the nimblest dick here. He's a little clunky. Going to the office for something you didn't do definitely is a bunch of horse shit. What is that beeping? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm about to run out of time! Well, then I got, got fucked with anyway. How'd I do that? I think that was a glielch. That looked like a glielch to me. Dicks punching dicks. Up! Ah. Ah. Oh, come on now. And now we got this fucking guy? Jesus. That should be about the end of the level, please. Don't make me do that again. Don't make me do this. Yep. Come on. Get your dick punches going. Is that it? Thank you. Alright. Stage 1B cleared. Ah, all right. Yeah, we're taking it one day at a time right here. We're taking it one stage at a time. Big boy sent me to meet this train, Tracy. Now you're going to meet a bullet. Stage one, scene C, the wrong side of the tracks. You ever go hang out on the wrong side of the tracks when you were a kid? I had some friends from the wrong side of the tracks. What'd that guy do? Just get up and leave? Get a second wind? What's his deal? Look at that guy. What is he, a ghost? What an asshole. Come on now. Whoop. Whoop. This looks very similar to the, the first stage. Are we back at the first stage again? What's that guy doing? Itchy. He's got... Oh, I see his health meter up there. I see what's going on with that guy. Okay. Whoop. Come on now. Jeez. What the... F oh, jeez. Look at that. That was hardcore. I just got executed off the, the side of the screen. It was like an arm just came out and shot me right in the back of the... Back in the head. Jeez. All right. So that's itchy. I need to make sure that I, I stay more towards like the center of the screen. That was uh, that was brutal. What just happened, to old dick.
Yep. Come on now. Man, these guys are just all over my dick here. Just non-stop. How is Itchy so resilient? I've never seen anything like it before. All these guys, you drop them immediately, and you know, then it seems like this Itchy guy, he's like a he's like a super powered villain. There he goes again. Dick punch. Man. God, they, they stroll up here and just... It's like the longest damn boss fight ever. How, uh... Good lord. I hope... That I will get, uh, you know, a, a little help here with maybe a checkpoint. Just going. Come on, Itchy. Let's finish this. Come on, you son of a bitch. Just a few more hits. What? No! Ah! Ah. Man. Oh, I gotta go back here again. Great! Shit. That's what I did last time. Man, I I accidentally hit the jump. I fucked myself completely. Here he comes, his little little door up there. And there he goes down the road. Don't really care about the windows that I break. That's not it's not what I'm concerned with right now. There we go. Alright, there we go. There we go. Gotta get those those quick quick dick shots. Right on the dick there. Got a dick on the dick. Well, dick on dick action. Are all right. Feeling much better this time. What you want to do is just keep this Tommy gun pumping, and then pause to uh, shoot the guys in the foreground when you need to. Like that, just like that. No, oh, see, A little slip up. Still in good shape though. They're quick. They're coming for you. Make no mistake. Hey, there we go. All right. It's from the roundhouse to the big house for you, Itchy. This case is going to blow up in your face, Kappa, he says. Stage one completed. <laughs> Ghoulie said Sega Mania Mania, a.k.a. group therapy. I, I guess I've missed some things in the chat. It only shows me so many uh, of the recent messages, so I'm not sure what all has been discussed as I was trying to uh, deal with Itchy there. But, you know, you guys, you guys go for it. You know, work out your problems. Score summary. Uh, did I get anything? I guess I didn't get anything. Here's a bonus round. A bonus. What kind of bonus do we have? Well, 
What am I supposed to do? Oh, hold on. Oh, it, uh, it corresponds with... I don't know. Are these guys... I think they're all bad guys, except the cop. Okay, now I get it. All right. Were those bad? I, I don't know. Oh, why Han doesn't think that Chris Redfield is a good person to be in a committed relationship with. I don't think any of the Resident Evil characters are probably good for that, you know? Uh, they've got to they put their work first, and they kind of have to. It's understandable. They've got very important things going on in that universe. The lab boys say that the train was carrying nitroglycerin. I'm checking out its destination. Stage 2, Scene A, Destination 7th Street Warehouse. I do agree. I do agree that... Uh, not, But not only Chris Redfield, I think that you'd be in a bad way if you probably got in a committed relationship with Claire, with Leon Kennedy, uh, with Jill Valentine... I don't think that uh, people, the people dealing with the events in those games, they've got much too much going on to probably worry about being in a relationship, you know. Though, I mean, maybe with one another, because then they, they understand each other's plights, you see. Yeah, but you know. Ada Wong, fine, though. She fine as hell. Ada won't fine as hell, though. I think there'd be lots of hookups going on in the world of Resident Evil. Probably not, not much in the way of committed relationships because, whoa, look at that guy. He's like a ninja. He's got to shoot his dick before he has a chance to jump at you. We're right in this. Put a bullet in his eye, that works too. Ah! Ah! No! Why'd you jump into the bullet? I haven't seen him crouch yet. That was the first time I've... Look at this! That's too much to worry about! Uh... Jess is getting jealous. It's a character from Re Resident Evil 4. It's from a GameCube game, Jess. You know? And don't act like you never said no one's fine as hell. You're always swooning over Henry Cavill when he shows up on your television set. So I don't want to hear it. I'll hear none of that. Don't act like you're above it. Ah. I saw your eyes when you were watching The Witcher. There we go. Ah! No, oh, he stabbed me, the son of a bitch. Man, come on now. Maybe I, should, maybe I should just tippy step my way forward. Because these guys, I, I get going too fast and then I unleash hell on myself, it seems. So if I tippy step, maybe that'll be a better approach. Carrot said, wow, Jess. Henry Cavill, yes. Believe it. What is this guy doing? Turn around or something. I need to drop down. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh. I think it's dumb that I can't bring my Tommy gun all the way around the front. 
you know, it'd be nice to, to have that option. Oh yeah, well, I mean, I think Henry was saying, or Henry, uh, Jorfus was saying that Henry Cavill will no longer be on The Witcher. Yeah, that's too bad. They might as well cancel the show, in my opinion. I, I hate recasting like that. It's just so, so stupid. It's always so tacky. Hey guys, you won't notice that we've got a completely different guy as the main character now, right? Just, come on. What movie was dog shit? I don't know. Some people are saying that there was a movie that's dog shit. I don't know which movie uh, is being discussed, though. Try to step it. No! Oh, God bless it all. Michael Keaton's Batman killed people. He he stuffs dynamite down a, a clown a clown bad guy's draws. He blows him right up to hell. Carrot said Man of Steel was dog shit. Uh, I hated it the first time I watched it. I I seem to like be okay with it now. It's still not my favorite. I think that Henry Cavill is a fantastic Superman, and I feel bad that he's not getting another opportunity, you know, to play the character, at least not right away, because James Gunn is coming in and, like, Thanos snapping everything that's going on in DC. Um, which, you know, I'm not really jazzed about. I'm just not, I don't know. I don't know if I trust James Gunn. Eh. Go eh yourself. Take your N. What? How do you, you come on now? Brad Pitt was fantastic in Bullet Train. One of my favorite movies of 2022 was that one. That was a wild, just a wild romp. What a wild romp Bullet Train was, if you haven't seen it. An uproarious romp. Punkin said, Brad Pitt is my man's. Punkin thinks Brad Pitt fine as hell. Alright, uh, two A is cleared. Punkin loves his young movies. Hey, he's still he is still a very handsome fellow. I Brad Pitt is aging just about as well as anyone possibly could hope to age. And he has you can tell he's he's not like Simon Cowell. You see these guys? They go out and they get these surgeries to make themselves look young, and what they end up doing, Kev, is they end up looking like like an alien. You know? You seen Simon Cow? He doesn't even look like the same person anymore. Simon Cow looks like a porcelain doll these days. If you get a chance, check out and just type in Simon Cow twenty twenty two or Simon Cow twenty twenty three and you'll see him. He he does not look like a human person anymore his face has been altered in very strange and unnatural ways and that's what happens to people who get they always they, i don't know it's like we're able to pick up on it as human beings i think you know we're, we've evolved to expect people to kind of show some signs of aging and uh even who even people who age very gracefully you can still usually tell you know, that's uh that guy's uh, doing very well for himself, but, you know, he's not a teenager. He's no longer in his 20s, but he's he's doing great. Looks great. Looks very healthy and, and active and fit, you know. Uh, just stretching the skin tight on your face does not make you look young. That's not what a young person's face looks like. 
when you're young, your face doesn't look like it's just uh, stretched back as far as it'll go. It doesn't look like someone's grabbing your skin and pulling it back towards your scalp. That's not the face of a young person. A young, per a young person's face, it, it looks lively and, um, uh, uh, you know, full of life and vigor. And, and many of these surgeries people have done, they end up, their skin looks like plastic. It's not good. Don't do it. I would recommend not doing that. Because it, it almost never works out. So be careful. Let's move on to um, stage two, scene B, the chase. That was the, the brow. He's getting away. Do you say Wesley Snipes or Wesley? What do you prefer? What do you guys think? Is is the name Wesley or is it Wesley? Wesley always makes me think of Mr. Belvedere. That's what he called the uh, the kid. Wesley. All right, sweet. This is like the uh, you know the, the regular levels we've been playing. Only we're in a car moving down the road. At a, a nice clip. This is fun. I like this one. It's unique. Oh, oh, okay. So you press the jump button and you you hop up on top of the uh, the roof there. Up. Who's coming up first? These guys are uh, taking a beating here coming after me too hey very resilient bad guys just just fucking them up with my tommy gun and oh come on now too much all right we're about halfway through ah you got me That way. Yeah, you keep moving along there. No, oh, get up, up, oh, down. Almost there. You make it. There we go. All right. Uh, this fella says, uh, I represent another party interested in the nitro. Too bad you won't be here to find out who. Uh, first time I looked over, I thought he was holding a candy bar, but it's actually a, a stick of TNT. Stage two, scene C, a brow beating under the L. Ghoulie's thinking of some fruit snacks. Walmart brand, too. Fruit snacks, let me tell you, the heyday of fruit snacks was was back in the, the late 80s through the early to mid 90s. I feel like we had the widest, greatest selection of fruit snacks known to man. And I don't know what's happened over the years. I don't know why it seems like fruit snacks have, have kind of fallen out of favor. If you go to the store... It just looks like so much, so much shit, so much just, just mediocre shit. You know, I, I don't see the wide selection of fruit snacks that used to be available to us kids when I was growing up. And that makes me sad for people because they were always, I don't know if they do this anymore with any of the, uh, the modern day fruit snacks. I'm thinking of, um, there were, uh, there were some shark fruit snacks that they used to have and they were mostly like translucent and there was one that was like a, a white 
matte finish. It wasn't translucent. And they'd only put like one in each pack. And always save it for last. They always ran gimmicks like that. And, and, and they were so fantastic. Um, but you don't get that anymore. Why huh said that Count Chocula might be the greatest of the Draculas. Speaking of Count Chocula, I, I won a contest, guys. I don't remember if I, I mentioned this. I won a contest this year. I never win contests or a sweepstakes. But I actually did this. You know, on the uh, this year's edition of Count Chocula cereals, they were running this little promotion where you could go to the website and you enter the code from your box and uh, it, would, it would give you entry to a drawing they were doing where a certain number of people were going to win a set of Count Chocula character mini figurines. And I did that like right when I first bought all of the cereals back in probably September when they first uh, showed up in stores. And then I got an email, I think it was in November, congratulating me, saying, hey, thanks for entering the sweepstakes. You won yourself a nice set of Count Chocula and Friends mini figurines. And they're like, keep an eye on your mailbox because they'll be there in like six to eight weeks. So I feel like any day, any time, those figurines should be showing up at my house. And I'm very excited for that. Um, Punk and Mrs. Scooby Snacks. I'm pretty sure that they had Scooby-themed um uh, gummies back in the day back when i'm thinking of i feel like like any any show that was on tv like any any uh prominent cartoon there was a fruit snack available for you if you were a fan of of a show on tv there was probably a fruit snack to go along with it and and it was just about the same way with cereals too and you don't see that so much anymore Ghoulie is recalling the Curious George Kroger brand gummies. Uh, or were they, were the different, were the Kroger ones different? And then also there were the Curious George Sharks, Creepy Crawlies, and Veggie Tales gummies. I will do an unboxing video for that. I haven't done one in a while, but uh, I'll, I'll do that when my Count Chocula figurines get here. Carrot said he's coming to steal the figurines off of my porch. Well, uh, this is uh, this is one of those houses where it's like, uh, forget the dog, beware of owner. You know? You show up, you come snooping around here, Carrot, trying to take mail off my porch. Uh, you might, uh, you might not like what happens after that. Got a little, uh, home security system here. So, steal at your own risk. At the very least, I will send Warrior after you. And uh, I don't think you'll like Warrior when he's angry. You think that you're best friends. Warrior does not like thieves. He won't. He won't stand for it, Carrot. No, you. You certainly. If you're gonna outrun anyone, you're gonna outrun Jess. Sorry. She's. Uh, you know pitching all-star in the state of Ohio very very athletic but I, I think that she would agree she would admit she's not winning the um, local sprint competition <clears throat> all right let me uh, let me jump into 
browbeating under the L. Back to the game here, back to uh, Dick Tracy's wild adventures. Look at that. What did that guy do? Just... Oh, that's the brow putting his little dynamites down. All right. Well, look, I'm not even worried about it. I'm going to shoot this whole damn town up. How do I deal with him? Oh, there we go. What? Oh, okay. Well, I didn't realize shit's going to be falling on me now. All right. I have to keep that in mind. What? I can tell this guy is going to be uh, a little bit of a jackal. A little bit of a hyena. Look at him. Just creeping around. Real coward. This is what we have to do. I'm going to tippy step it. Up! Oh, get out of there. No, no, stop. See, and then he just he peeks out for like a split second. You don't even have time to do anything to him. You should be able to shoot his bomb and, and cause him to take some damage from it. That's just... That's... God! <laughs> oh, what a horrible boss fight. Okay. going to be right back here, but... What the f... Flip and flop. guy at all. This guy's cheap. This guy's cheap as shit. Not a fan. Not a fan of this fight. He's taking advantage of things that, like, he's got these little... He only appears in hiding spots and he doesn't have to reveal himself. He's like a... He's like a magician. It's like fighting Dave, David Copperfield or uh, or Chris Angel, the mind freak. Or David Blaine. See, then he gets up, he's gonna run off, and then he then he always throws his little Look at that. And look how slow his bar is to go down. This is just this is one of those excruciating scenarios where you're just like, oh my god. Just let's be done with this. Let's... Ah, oh, see him? No! I mean, how does he get back over there? That's that's crap. Hopefully that was a checkpoint. Because I don't want to do all that over again. <sighs> oh, I only have 23 seconds left anyway. 
Yeah, this is... This is probably not good. Well, you know. Yeah. Can't even see him anymore. Look at that. Oh, I died because I ran out. See, what a stupid level to even have a timer. Like, what's the explanation there? Why did I die? Oh, and all the way back to the beginning. Thank you very much. That's that's fantastic. Just what I always wanted. Sorry I didn't move quick enough for you. Um... Uh, See the oh man, bunch of trash. Just good lord. Ah! So stupid. So so stupid. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yeah. Okay. Gotta love that. Just cycles right back to the other side of the screen with no no explanation, no rhyme or reason to it. Then it gets to Oh yeah. I love that one too. That's that's fantastic. When the beam falls down and you have absolutely no Oh, we might as well just go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and just fuck me up. Here. There we go. There you go. Take me down. Great job. Oh, they ran the score up on you, huh, Ghoulie? Game over. Well, um, that's close enough to an hour. You know, that's close enough. That's gonna, that's gonna wrap things up on that one. So... See you. Bye, Tracy. Waiha wants to know, can I emulate PC Engine? Uh, I can. I actually own the um, TurboGrafx-16 Mini. So I can, I can put... Uh, well, I haven't done it yet. I haven't modded it. <clears throat> the way that I've modded my Genesis Mini, or my Mega Drive Mini, if you will. But I could, uh, so I might do that. Did you have, uh, did you have any suggestion? Did you have any request? <sighs> so let me see, let me uh, flip back open here. go back to my Dick Tracy review from Sam Forrester and see why huh says I got native I'm a nut paid more than ps5 for it uh, I'm not familiar with that what what is native you have to make me hip to that So, Dick Tracy. Sam Forrester's thoughts on Dick Tracy. Gloriously frenetic gameplay. Uh, it was glo- no, 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 it was frenetic. But I would not say it was glorious, no. Not glorious. Disagree. Whitehouse said that the native is imported PC Engine Duo. Recapped. 
disk drive and drive motor replaced, SRAM replaced with new solid state RAM, region board, RGB board, outputting into S cart. It's pretty intense. More than a PS5. They paid for that. Are you uh, uploading anything? Are you capturing any gameplay with it? Or are you just, is it just strictly for fun? Cooley <sighs> said that he's got more I get, what are, you, are you talking about on the uh, the relationship front? Is that what I mean, more information to come next stream about the unfolding relationship there. Uh, let's see. Back to Sam Forrester's review. Yep, enemies come at you from both sides. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And just kind of explain the gameplay. Can't argue with that. Variety of levels. Said the bosses are similar, running away in the background. Yep, just just kind of describing the gameplay as he goes along. In the first part of the review, he really uh, gave you a little background on the history of Dick Tracy and then set up the story of the game. He said there are some cool bits in between the boss fights and levels. The car chases are really fun and a shooting gallery, gallery minigame. Once you've got the knack of the controls, you shouldn't find yourself having too much trouble clearing the levels. Um, um, well, I mean, maybe I'm just a noob. But like I said, I never played this before. I don't like the way that this game handles uh, the boss fights especially there I mean it's not like okay if you were just going through the levels clearing out the bad guys like the the normal bad guys fair enough that's not too bad once you get used to it I feel like I came up with a pretty decent strategy once I I figured out how to uh, move the aim on the Tommy gun but the way the Tommy gun repositions, especially on that last one, it's like, if you think he's going to reappear in a certain spot, if you move your guy, if you move your dick a little bit uh, to the left or right, then when you aim again, your, balance, your, your aim is off. You're no longer lined up with him. It like resets. Sometimes it's on the opposite side of the screen, then you have to drag it all the way across to where the guy is. Meanwhile, he throws a damn... TNT stick and it knocks down one of those beams that sometimes you cannot avoid because you can't move your dick fast enough to get out of the way so uh, I don't know I mean that's about all he said so I, I, I guess he didn't really Sam Forrester didn't provide much of an opinion on the game it was more of like a a recap of the story and a breakdown of the gameplay there wasn't much opinion provided there so I mean I, I, I disagreed on the, the fact that he called it glorious and I also disagreed that the game would be easy to make it through the levels once you got the controls down there's only so much you can do with the controls so I don't know. Uh, slight disagreement. Why, huh? If you're talking about the PC engine and the Turbo Graphics 16, uh, you should look up my Turbo Graphics 16 mini review that I did on this channel. I'm really proud of that video. I I had fun putting that one together, and I did one for the C64 mini as well, and I reviewed all the games and unboxed it in five minutes so it's a it's breakneck speed 
and I think it's a fun video. I don't know why it doesn't have millions of views. I'm going to be honest. If any video on this channel should have millions of views, it would either be my TurboGrafx-16 Mini or my C64 Mini unboxing slash review videos. I think that those are million plus view videos that, that just didn't get there. And I don't know why. I don't know why. If the algorithm were to pick those up and put them in the right feed, easy million view videos. Easy. All right, good night, Ghoulie. Have a good one. We'll see you next time, I hope. And uh, best wishes and good luck on the next basketball game. I hope that you go out there and dominate next time. Anywho's, uh, okay. Dick Tracy for the Mega Drive is going to get from me a... Uh, 350 out of a possible 1,000 super divorces. 350 super divorces out of a possible 1,000 super divorces is what I give Dick Tracy on the Sega Mega Drive. That's my review. There you go. Piss poor boss fights. Just horse shitty. Just horse shitty, not fun. The car battle sequence wasn't too bad. But, you know, they got all this destructible property, and they penalize you for breaking windows. You don't get the bonus afterwards if you break windows and all that kind of shit. Uh, no power-ups that I could see. No power-ups, no upgrades to your weaponry. Um, no health. No health pickups, as far as I could tell. So... Yeah, I don't recommend it. Next time, we'll be playing another game from page 31 of Sega Mania Magazine. And uh, this one is um, it's a little bit different type of game than we played recently. I think it'll be kind of fun, I hope. So, I don't know. We'll see. If you want to find out what it is, uh, you can just check out the Sega Mania Magazine online archive in the description below. There is a link to it. Go over there and flip over to page 31 digitally and see what's sitting there beneath... Uh, Dick Tracy. And if you don't want a spoiler, then just don't do that. And you'll find out next time when we come back for the next edition of Sega Mania Mania. It'll be number 24. Um, if you haven't done so, please sub to the channel. Bong the gong for notifications so you know when new videos go live. Maybe if YouTube decides to let you know make sure you hit all notifications not just some and definitely don't turn notifications off if you hit all notifications then that'll give you the best chance of maybe getting notified when I go live or when I post a new video it's not a guarantee YouTube still issues the notifications when they feel like it no one knows uh, when to expect those notifications exactly. Sometimes people get them and sometimes they don't. But if you want a chance to get notified, then do that. Do all those things. And like this video if you had a good time here. Uh, comment below if you got anything to say. It doesn't even have to be related to uh, a game. You can say whatever you want. You can talk some shit. Whatever you'd like to do. Follow me on Twitter at SuperDivorce on Instagram at SuperDivorceBand where you can see the daily Super Divorce random artifact. Post a picture of a random artifact from my office once a day. And if that sounds like fun to you, then go and give me a follow on Instagram. 
and Super Divorce Tunes. I play music, and if you'd like to hear it and listen to it, head on over to Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, and search up Super Divorce. The latest album was called Action Figures. Ten songs of uh, synth pop radiance. Enjoyable for fans of bands like New Order and Tears for Fears and Depeche Mode. I think if you like those bands, you're going to like the latest Super Divorce album. And there was one before that, too, called Wish You're the Best, a little harder-edged Super Divorce tunes. Tickling a different uh, musical uh, nerve. You know? So check that out. Check it all out. Oh, I think that's going to do it for tonight. So, uh, all right. Until next time, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks to everyone in the chat. Hope you guys had a good time this evening. And I uh, hope to see you all again very soon. Take real good care. Keep kicking ass. Love you lots. Lord willing, I'll be back very soon with another video for you. To watch. Uh, bye bye.